Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines. So this is my third video. This is my third review and analysis of the contestants of the Miss Universe 2019. So if you have not seen my first and second video, you can go ahead and check out my channel. It is Miss Colombia and Miss China. Today I am going to review Miss Universe Brazil. 2019 Julia Horta, but before we proceed with the review, since Brazil belongs to the Americas, here is my current ranking for the American region. And at the end of the video, this ranking will be updated, so go ahead, make sure to finish the video and check it out later. So let's go ahead and talk about Miss Universe Brazil. Brazil already won twice in 1963 with Ayeda Maria Vargas in 1968 Malta Vasconcelos. Since IMG took over, they have successfully placed in the semifinals and they are currently enjoying their eight years straight of successful placements, which is actually their longest streak so far. And this year, they're sending Julia Horta. She's 25 years old and she stands 5'9". She is a journalist, a speaker, and a presenter. I am not sure what her advocacy is or what charity is she currently working with as of the moment because I cannot find anything online. But if you know, if you have any idea, don't forget to hit the comment section below and share your thoughts so that I may be able to know and probably apply it on my next leaderboards as well. Well, Julia Horta is not new in pageantry because she competed in Miss World Minas Gerais where she won, which allowed her to compete in Miss World Brazil 2015 where she finished fourth runner-up. She also competed in Reinado Internacional del Café in 2016 where she finished first runner-up. Miss World Brazil 2017 where she finished second runner-up and Miss Tourism International 2017 fourth runner-up. So based on those experience, she always managed to finish in the top five, which is a very, very good performance. And this year she competed in Miss Brazil 2019 where she won and made her earn the ticket to compete in the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. Well, physically, she's got one of the most beautiful faces in this edition so far. And there's something in her beauty that you just can stop staring at her. And I also love the shorter hair compared to the long ones because she is completely rocking it and it is making her stand out as well. When she was interviewed during the national pageant, her response and delivery was very, very confident. So she is a presenter and a speaker, so there is no surprise that public speaking would be easy for her. So I love that. And now I am hoping that she would learn to speak English because sometimes as followers of the pageant, we all know that the translator sometimes doesn't do really well and doesn't give justice to the responses of the contestants. So I really wish she could learn English in the remaining times of her preparation. Her body during the swimsuit competition was also great and I really loved her look and confidence during that round. For the gown, I am not really a big fan of the design of the gown that she wore during the national pageant, so I really hope she will bring something amazing, something different, and of course something that is not similar to the one she wore. I'm just thankful that she knows how to charm every viewer and she knows how to work on stage because she carried the gown beautifully and gracefully. So it's really a matter of carrying the gown. But sometimes, although some people would say that it's not the gown but how you wear it, but sometimes what you wore still has a huge impact. The final question, she was just outstanding. Standing. I did not understand any word she said. If you know the translation of her answer during the national pageant, don't forget to comment them down below. But the way she delivers was just amazing. I love the confidence and how strong and firm she is when responding to the question. So that's something really good. I'm really, really happy actually that she will go to Miss Universe. And I'm actually very emotional when she was crowned Miss Universe Brazil 2019 because I know she really deserves to win it. And I'm also very confident that Brazil will do very, very well in this edition of Miss Universe because since IMG took over, IMG loves Brazil. They always place every time. So that's my review for Miss Universe Brazil 2019, Julia Horta. I surely wish 
all the success and luck in the universe and i really as what i've said i really hope she will do very very well and now since she is my second she is the second contender that i have reviewed from the american region here is my updated ranking so my number one is still Colombia, and my number two is Brazil. But do not be mad or anything because it's very, very close. And both are sure qualifiers in my book anyway because both are just amazing. I just wanted to see Brazil's advocacy and charity that she's currently working with to help me understand her more and of course it's also a boost in her profile in the upcoming competition so again don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave your comments below as well especially if you're a fan of miss brazil don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe because there will be more reviews and analysis to come so thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines